Your doctor has told you that you have a hernia, but what does that actually mean? In general terms, we can say that a hernia occurs when the layers that make up the abdominal wall weaken. In other words, the fabric of muscle and other tissues which protect the gut develops a defect or weakness. Through that defect, the peritoneum and perhaps other organs push their way outward forming a lump which can be felt and sometimes seen protruding from the abdomen. During normal childhood development, boys' testes slowly descend from the interior of the abdomen down into the scrotum. They pass through the abdominal wall by way of a natural passageway called the inguinal canal. In men, the inguinal canal contains blood vessels that supply the testes as well as the vessel that carries sperm to the penis. Hernias that occur due to a weakness in the abdominal wall at the inguinal canal are called inguinal hernias. And not surprisingly, men are 25 times more likely than women to experience a hernia in this area. Some inguinal hernias press directly through the floor of the inguinal canal. Others follow the route taken by the blood vessels that supply the testes. This kind of hernia, called an indirect hernia, can even push all the way into the scrotum. If those organs cannot slide easily back into the abdomen, the hernia is said to be irreducible. Irreducible hernias are often painful and can lead to complications. For example, if the intestine becomes trapped in the hernia sac, it is said to be incarcerated. If the neck of the hernia sac actually pinches off the supply of blood to those organs, which have become trapped inside, the hernia is said to be strangulated.